A big Southern California welcome to all our SmackDown fans. I'm Michael Cole, here with Taz at ringside in San Diego. Big shout out to all our great fans in the 619 area Cole here. I love San Diego, baby. No kidding, partner. San Diego couldn't be more excited for SmackDown action, and we could be more excited to be here. I feel like a real jerk when somebody counted you like that. I gotta tell you, Cole, I thought I had this thing figured out. But now I got no idea how this is gonna end up. Neither do I, Taz. And I think it's that unpredictability that makes it so exciting. No doubt, Cole. I've seen superstars get a huge advantage over their opponents and still lose the match because they got sloppy. Anything can happen in WWE. An entire match can turn on one or two big moves. And that's why you can't take your eyes off the action for one second. You never know when something huge is going to go down. There's not a superstar in the locker room who can afford to ignore these fans, Cole. You're right about that. Without the fans, we'd all be out of a job. Here's the reversal, Cole. Each of these competitors is looking for the slightest hint of weakness in the other. That's the law of the jungle, Cole. An injured superstar is like a wounded animal. It's survival of the fittest. And that also means that if you're not at 100 percent you've got to be able to hide it from your opponent. You got that right, Cole. This business is as psychological as it is physical. You can't let your opponent think you're easy picking. Well, I wouldn't consider any of these superstars to be easy pickings, no matter how beaten up they get. And there's the counter, Cole. Watching these superstars go at it reminds me why I prefer to stay on this side of the announce table. Oh, come on, Cole. You know, you should let me train you. You could be Cruiserweight champion in like a year. Well, hold on. I've heard stories about the way you train people. You make Marine drill instructors look like pushovers. Duh. They're just training people to go to war. I train them to be WWE superstars. Well, thanks, but no thanks, partner. I think I'll stick to announcing for now. I think we're hearing the First Amendment in action here tonight, Taz. It's a great thing to hear, Cole. I'm all in favor of freedom of expression, whether I agree with what they're saying or not. Oh, jeez. Someone's voice just went up a couple of octaves. It hurts just watching it. I can't imagine how excruciating this must be. Oh, my. Talk about your compromising positions. Nothing will take the fight out of a superstar quicker than a move like this. These superstars have inflicted so much damage on each other, and I'm getting exhausted just watching them. This is one heck of a match so far. It sure is, Taz. What do you think the highlight has been so far? Well, that'll probably come a little bit later on in the match, when you decide to shut your yap for a few seconds, and I can uh, enjoy it in peace. Well, excuse me for doing my job, partner. Sorry to have disturbed you. Ladies and gentlemen, we are seeing an incredible display of athletic ability here tonight. What do you expect, Cole? He's a WWE superstar for crying out loud. They're the greatest athletes in the world. True enough, Taz. There's no off-season for them. There's no month or two off between matches. There sure ain't, Cole. I mean, these guys are here week in and week out, and every night they leave it in the ring. And they do it all for the WWE fans, Taz. Without them, none of us would even be here. These superstars give everything they got when they're in a match like this. But a lot of people don't realize what they sacrifice behind the scenes also. No question. If you want to make it to the WWE, you've got to sacrifice just about everything for your career. It has to be as important to you as anything else in your life. Oh, what you have to realize to make it to the WWE, this is... Here's your winner, the Superstar.